if you've ever wondered how to do this God rays effect I have in this illustration, I can at least try and show you how I did it in Clip Studio Paint. First thing you want to do, make a light source. Pick your icon, go to Ellipse, and then make sure that it's set to create fill. Put it right here, top left corner. Then you want to create a new layer, and this is where we're going to put the gradient. You want to go to the gradient tool or G. Make sure it's around the center of the circle. Click and hold, and you want to drag out a decent, decent sized gradient. So that way, it is a soft, gradual decrease in opacity. So you can turn this gradient. Now what we're gonna do is create an interesting shape, whatever shape you want. So now we're gonna turn that gradient layer on. You can lower the opacity of the layer that has the gradient on it, to maybe around here, 60% or so. What we're gonna do now is actually create a layer mask for the gradient layer. We're gonna go to the ruler tool, or U, go to special ruler, and then make sure the special ruler is on radial line. This guide will allow you to create lines that go towards a center no matter what. So we're gonna choose the center of it. If it's not at the complete center like what I did here, you can control, click and drag the guide so that it's a little bit closer into the center. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get a, a flat edge brush like this one. This one is called Dry Bristle. It's from a free Clip Studio Assets brush pack I found. And make sure that it is on the transparent block. This way it'll erase the mask. The reason why I'm painting it on the mask is so that way we don't actually affect the original gradient and say if I took away too much or took away too little, I don't affect the gradation. It doesn't get ruined. As you can see here, no matter where I am on the canvas, it will always follow the center. You want to have the shadows match up with the shape of the object that is casting said shadow so that way it's more accurate. The reason why I also like dry bristle is because it naturally creates these streaks within the brush strokes. So it's almost as if you're creating multiple lines with one stroke. One thing to note, when an object is closer to the light source, such as this one, the light rays will be shorter because of the force shortening. And if an object was directly in front of the light source, then the shadows that cast wouldn't be as prominent. It would almost not exist. And like if it was right dabbed in the center, then it wouldn't cast any uh, god rays. That is more or less how you make god rays. I hope that helps. Hopefully I didn't over explain or under explain anything too badly. But uh, if you have any questions, let me know.